Let me tell you five ways how we help our clients get more money for their house when they hit the market. The first thing I tell my clients is curb appeal is very important. You pull up to the house, people want to see a really nice looking house. They don't want to see the gutters hanging down, stuff needing to be painted and your gutters full and just your yard looks a hot mess. You got stuff all in the flower beds, weeds growing up through it. They will pass right by your property. If I had several clients that pull up and they say, you know what, I don't want this house, let's move to the next. And that is a very easy fix. A lot of times that's just a little bit of sweat equity that's gonna turn into some big dollars when you're home. So the second thing we make sure every client knows is, hey, if your kitchen or your bathroom isn't updated, it's costing you money. Those are the first thing clients look at when they're looking at homes online is how does the kitchen look? How does the bathroom look? They definitely want a stone countertop unless you have a farmhouse vibe. So they'll be fine with like the, the butcher block countertops. They want the upgraded cabinets. That's what the people are looking for. And it costs you a little upfront, but it normally turns out to be a good investment on the back end when you close out. The third thing we tell them is, you get, look, you got to declutter this house and you got to depersonalize. Now, what does that mean? The way we live in a house is completely different than the way we actually uh, sell our houses. You've never been in somebody's house and typically, I'm sorry, typically, you've never been in someone's house and you just see food laying all around, trash laying around, uh, you know, toys, a whole bunch of stuff. It's normally condensed into one space. You know, you're like, why do these houses look like model homes? It's very important because the more it looks like your house is the less it looks like their house. They want to be able to envision themselves when they're walking through your property. It's like, oh, OK, I can do this here or that there. So you have to declutter, depersonalize. If you're uh, into like rock and roll and you got and you got posters everywhere, it might be a good idea to take the posters down and depersonalize. If you're into um politics and you have your favorite politician all over the house you know the person who buys your house might be of a different political party or be interested in a different political party take that stuff down you want the most money possible so you want to have your house appeal to the masses it's one of the biggest things we tell people as well the fourth thing we tell our clients is all the energy efficient upgrades that you can do that are cost efficient Go ahead and do it. And what I mean by that is if you can switch out your light bulbs to some LED light bulbs, if your furnace is an older furnace, you know, dryer, you want the high efficiency dryer, stuff like that. All of those things stand out with today's buyers. So we try to tell our clients within reason. Of course, it's going to look different for everybody. So I'm not telling you to go strap solar panels to your roof because it might not make sense financially. And if you need more help on that, that's what we're here for. Come talk to us and we're going to break this all the way down. Last but not least, we got to talk about the fresh lick of paint and the flooring. Oh my goodness. That makes a very big difference. And normally this is the cheapest thing that you can do that you have to actually pay money for besides landscaping and stuff. Now, if you have a house and you have carpet in it and the carpet is, you know, you had it in there for the last 15 years and you got carpet stains from wine or animals or children or you, whatever it is. That's not going to fly with today's buyers. When they walk through your house and they see dirty carpet, it's ugh. Even if you try to get the best carpet cleaner, I tell people, don't even waste your time cleaning the carpet. You're going to want to either replace it or offer a credit to the next purchaser. The same goes with the paint. Uh, if you're the type of person that cook a lot of greasy foods and there's grease stains all over your kitchen ceiling, that's going to show up very poorly and it's going to cost you more money uh to not have it done than it is to actually get it done in most cases today's buyers when they look at something and it needs a fresh coat of paint let's say it costs you 1500 to 2000 to paint the entire house the today's buyers are going to want five grand to ten grand off of the purchase price and it's just costing you money so we make sure our clients know to go ahead and change out the carpet change out the flooring and change out the paint if it all makes sense of course it's going to make different sense for different applications but that's why we have a customized planning package just for you whenever you come to us you tell us your specific needs of how much you want to sell a property for how much you're looking to get for the, the house and how much equity you have in it and we can create a customized plan specially for you to make sure you maximize the sale of your property we look forward to servicing you reach out to us our information is below and we'll uh, be in touch right away take care